Hello, chemistry students. Today we're going to be performing our making and using visible absorption measurements experiment. In this laboratory, we're going to be using a spectrophotometer to obtain a visible spectrum of an absorbing species. We're also going to determine the analytical wavelength of an absorbing species. We're going to construct a Beer's Law plot using absorbance readings of an absorbing species. And we're going to use our Beer's Law plot to determine the concentration of an absorbing species solution with an unknown concentration. Let's get started. For today's experiment, the stock solution we will be using is one molar green food dye. And this is our unknown green food dye solution, unknown number one. We now need to prepare all of our cuvettes to be read in the spectrophotometer. We're first going to take deionized water and add one milliliter to a cuvette to make our blank. We're then going to add one milliliter of our unknown green food dye solution to our next cuvette. We're now going to prepare our standard solutions to create our standard curve of the green food dye for our Beer's Law plot. So we first need to take our stock one molar green food dye solution and we're going to fill a 25 milliliter volumetric flask to the line. We will then transfer our 25 milliliters of one molar stock green food dye solution to a 50 milliliter volumetric flask that will be our one to two dilution. We'll then fill our 50 milliliter volumetric flask to the line with deionized water to create our one to two dilution of the green food dye solution. We'll then to invert to mix a few times. Next, we're going to transfer 25 milliliters of our one to two dilution of the one molar green food dye solution to a new 25 milliliter volumetric flask. Once we've filled our 25 milliliter volumetric flask, with our one to two dilution, we're going to transfer this to a new 50 mil volumetric flask for our one to four dilution. We're then going to fill our one to four 50 milliliter volumetric flask with deionized water. Once we've filled our 50 milliliter volumetric flask up to the mark with deionized water, we'll invert several times to mix. And we'll next transfer 25 milliliters of our one to four dilution to a new 25 milliliter volumetric flask.
Now that we've filled our 25 milliliter volumetric flask up to the mark with our one to four dilution, we're going to transfer this 25 milliliters of our one to four dilution to a new 50 milliliter volumetric flask for our one to eight dilution. And we'll use deionized water to fill to the mark of our 50 mil volumetric flask to create our one to eight dilution. And then we'll invert several times to mix. We're next going to transfer one milliliter of our one molar green food dye stock solution to a cuvette. We'll transfer one milliliter of our one to two dilution to another cuvette. And transfer one milliliter of our one to four dilution to another cuvette. And lastly, we'll transfer one milliliter of our one to eight dilution to our final cuvette. We have now finished preparing our blank cuvette with deionized water, our unknown concentration of green food dye solution cuvette, our one molar solution, our one to two dilution, our one to four dilution, and our one to eight dilution cuvettes, and they are ready to be read in the spectrophotometer. We're next gonna go over how to set up and operate our spectrophotometer. So after turning on our spectrophotometer and allowing the instrument to initialize, we're going to load our one molar colored solution into the spectrophotometer. And we're going to make sure that the wider clear plastic side is facing to the side of the spectrophotometer. This is where it's going to read from, this way. We're now ready to set up our spectrophotometer. After inserting our cuvette with the colored solution into the spectrophotometer, we next need to determine our analytical wavelength that we will be using. So we're going to select by pressing enter the spec 200 e modern interface option. And then we're going to press to the right three times. So that we select the scan option. We're going to move down. We want to use absorbance. So we'll leave that as is. We'll move down again and we're going to set our low wavelength to 350 nanometers, which it is. And we're going to set our high wavelength to 700 nanometers, which it is. We're then going to move down to next and we'll press enter and enter again. And the instrument will scan for the analytical wavelength that we should be using for our colored solution. You can see here that our spectrophotometer has determined the absorbance for a range of wavelengths for our green food dye. So for our analytical wavelength, what we want to do is select the peak absorbance. So we're going to move our green line over to this highest peak of absorbance right here. Which is at about 633 nanometers. Now that we've selected 633 nanometers as our analytical wavelength, we can go ahead and press the home button on our spectrophotometer and begin to blank our instrument. We next need to blank our spectrophotometer. So we're going to open our lid and remove our cuvette with our one molar green food dye solution. 
and we're going to insert our blank, which just contains deionized water. After inserting our blank, we're going to go ahead and select the spec 200 E modern interface by pressing the enter arrow. We're going to leave it as live display for the application. For measure mode, we're going to select percent transmittance by pressing the over arrow. For our measurement wavelength, we will leave it as 633 nanometers, which we previously determined. And now we're going to go ahead and press the enter button. We next need to press our top middle button to zero the spectrophotometer. You can now see that with our blank deionized water solution, our percent transmittance has been set to 100%. We have now completed setup of our spectrophotometer and can move forward with the readings of our colored solutions. The first solution that we're going to be reading using our spectrophotometer is our one molar green food dye solution. The percent transmittance for our one molar green food dye solution is 41.8%. The next solution that we will be reading is our one to two dilution of green food dye. The percent transmittance for our one to two dilution of the green food dye solution is 65.2%. The next solution that we'll be reading is our one to four dilution of our one molar green food dye solution. The percent transmittance for our one to four dilution of our one molar green food dye solution is 83.1%. The next solution that we will be reading is our one to eight dilution. The percent transmittance for our one to eight dilution is 91.7%. We're next going to read our unknown green food dye solution. The percent transmittance for our unknown green food dye solution is 87.7%. This completes the wet lab portion of this experiment. Okay, students, you now need to convert our percent transmittance readings to absorbance and then make a graph of absorbance versus concentration. You can then determine the concentration of our unknown food dye solution by using the equation of a line from your graph. This concludes our making and using visible absorption measurements experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.